Um, number one, everything that we do is on consignment. So there's no upfront capital expense to the dealer. If you're going to do business with Lojack, and by the way, Spirion bought the Lojack name, and Spirion has since been purchased by Solera. So I'll just leave it at that. Uh, if you know Solera, you know. So, um, uh, so, but there's an entry point issue with with these device companies. So they're they're simply put, they're hardware companies. And when we did forecast calls, we mm -hmm. talked about how many devices were shipped, not how many were sold. That doesn't do the dealer any good. That's right. Plus, they're talking about their brand. At Spirion, it was Skylink, Kahu, and then Lojack. At CDS, it was Elo GPS, right? But we were never talking about the dealer. So he said, number one, everything's on consignment. So that $65, $75 charge on every single car that has to be paid before you've ever started selling GPS is eliminated. And number two, um, everything that the customer sees is branded for the dealer. So I'm going to say this, and I could get in some hot water, but you know what? The dealers continue to try and dictate the terms of which customers communicate with them. They've got sloppy websites that don't work that well. You want to set, set a service appointment. You have to go to a website. You oh have to God. make a phone call. You end up in uh, voicemail hell is what I call it. It's not because a service writer isn't interested in taking your call. It's because he's got multiple ROs of open. He's trying to get people back, trying to get his loaners back, trying to get the next car in, et cetera. And so... I always say to the dealers, I'm like, why don't you have an app? American Express has an app. USAA has an app. Fox News has an app. All of these different com companies have apps. And 81% of the traffic on a cell phone is done through an app. Why do yes. you not have an app? Right? right. And so and so when I meet with dealers and they'll even say things like this, they'll say, well, you know, I've got Ford Pass or I have OnStar. You know, Newsflash, Ford has Ford Pass. Nissan has Nissan Connect. GM has OnStar. That's right. The OEMs have that. You don't have that. They own your data. They own your customers. They do with it what they want. And oh, by the way, it's very difficult to schedule a service appointment to the selling dealer through the apps, uh, OEM apps. And most importantly, they can push them to any dealer that the OEM wants to put them That's to. Correct. Right. And so what we've done at Icon is, is we just said, hey, look, we've got a cool device. It does all of the lot management. Plus we track keys, blah, blah, blah. I've done that for eight years. Not the key part, but, but the lot management. That's simple and easy for us, mitigates uh, any of the risk and gives 100% visibility into owner operators to what's going on uh, with all of his cars, loaner cars, uh, borrowed car agreements, test drives, uh, identity theft purchases, smash and grabs, folks that won't come back and re-sign that won't bring in uh, steps, et cetera, any, any funding delay. So we, we just take care of all that. We automate battery reports. And if you manage that, you're not replacing batteries. But what's most important is, is that everything that the customer sees is branded specifically for the dealership. So now the dealership is able to put their brand on their customer's phone, of which we know a customer is in and out of their phone a minimum 96 times a day. They're spending five and a half hours on their phone. And oh, by the way, uh, you know, with all of that, 81% um, of all traffic is, is based you know, through apps. And so right. we're now giving the dealer the vehicle, no pun intended, um, that their customers want. And you know, what can you do on the app? All this normal stuff, uh, boundary alerts, speed alerts, trip history, stolen vehicle recovery, all of those items are- It's, it's, not, it's not the dealer's website. It is an app with That's the right. dealer's, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and where, it's, and where it's best for the dealer is on the second tab, it, it has a my dealer section. And in the My Dealer section, we list 100% of the dealer's inventory. We do that using an API bridge. So it's all of the dealer's photos, description, Carfax auto check on the used cars. They can set service appointments. They can link into uh, on, uh, roadside assistance, make a call to roadside assistance, hours of operation, directions to the dealer, et cetera. And what we find, Russell, is, is when we pull the information, seeing the most activity on the My Dealer side, on the dealer consumer app, it's a five times, there's five times more activity looking at the dealer's inventory. I so when you have, yeah, so when you have big groups, right, or, or even a store that has three or 400 cards in inventory, and we talk about repeat referral business, which doesn't work, the easiest way to do repeat and referral business is a customer just opens up their app and they start scrolling through and looking at the dealer's inventory. And they can search by, uh, by make and model, um, they can see the price of the vehicle and all the information. And in a lot of cases, if a dealer wants us to, we can actually pipe in that, that customer's information and what they were looking at. 